Hello. Welcome to Practica's instructional video on how to find available blocks for quick appointment creation. This video will cover the use of the searching interface to find available appointment blocks in the Practica scheduler. To use this feature, please switch to the scheduler. The scheduler must be in the appointment mode to be able to search blocks and create appointments. The appointment block search button is located in the header of the appointment book. If the scheduler is in the scheduler mode, then this button shall be disabled. Click the button to open the appointment block search dialog. The dialog can be closed using the same button or by clicking the close button in the top right corner of the dialog. The dialog will also close upon an appointment creation. The dialog can be docked or undocked by clicking the docking switch in the dialog header. The docked dialog is placed next to the appointment book and it takes extra horizontal space. The undocked dialog is placed above the appointment book and does not require an extra space. It could be a better option for smaller monitors. However, a part of the appointment book can be hidden from view in this mode. Now, let us look at the dialog. It is pre-populated with the default parameters, and you can just click the search button to find the available appointment blocks. The docking mode, the date ranges, the days of the week are automatically saved as your user preferences. It means that the next time you open this dialog, those values will be set as per your last search. Now let's proceed to the search parameters. The principal parameter is the date range. You can specify the date range of your search either by using a quick period selector or by selecting the actual dates. Please mind that the search can only be made for the future dates. Next, you can limit your search to specific days of the week. It is followed by the time of the day. You can use the quick range selectors morning, afternoon and evening, or you can enter the actual time range using the provided selectors. You can search for the blocks of specific length. It is increment with your practice minimum appointment block size. You can further filter your search by specific providers, treatment types or appointment book columns. The selectors allow you to choose more than one entry. You can select all entries by double-clicking on the selector labels. The patient selector is optional and is handy if you need to create an appointment with a particular patient. Let us now click the search button and see the results of our search. We are now trying to find available appointment blocks of 45 minutes in the morning between 8 and 12 for the next three days for Dr. Simon Waltersong and Dr. Brian Lamecki in any column and with any treatment type. Here are the results of the search. The available appointment blocks are grouped by their date and then shown by a provider. The time in the block indicates the start time. A colored strip on the right indicates its treatment type. The dates can be collapsed using a collapse switch in the results header. There is a label showing how many blocks are available for the date. There is also a button that allows you to proceed to that date in the appointment book. Each individual date can also be collapsed and expanded on its own. When you hover over a block, it gets highlighted and a yellow flashing area appears in the appointment book indicating its place. The area shows the start and end time, as well as the block's duration. The appointment book will always advance to the date and column where the block belongs to. However, 
If the column is hidden from view in the user preferences, the yellow block cannot be shown. You can create an appointment by clicking a block. A standard appointment creating dialog will open and you'd be able to enter the necessary info. If a patient was not selected in the search dialog, you will starting with the selection of a patient. However, you can pre-select a patient by clicking the Select a Patient button in the search dialog. You can perform a search or use the Show Last Searched Patient button to select one of the recently searched patients. This time when you create an appointment, the patient's details are already entered. Once the patient is pre-selected, you can create multiple appointments with this person. You can set up the icons, appointment notes, treatment types, etc. If you need to unselect the patient, just double-click the label. The selected patient shall be set to a none. If you need to maintain the manual control over the appointment creation, you can just collapse the dates and use to date buttons to proceed to a specific date. Then you can create the appointments in that day as you normally would by clicking and dragging in the appointment book. Please note that while the search dialog is open, the schedule mode button is disabled. This concludes the instructional video on the available appointment block search. Thank you for your attention.